So there are tons of ways that, that you can do it. You can mix your sugar and you can add your meringue powder in here. I use uh, Creative Cookies Meringue Powder. You can purchase it on their site. You can purchase it in our site now. We are carrying it. Um, you can mix your meringue powder in here, put it in your bowl, put it, your meringue powder, mix it a little bit, and then add your water. Um, I have not really seen that anything makes a big difference for me. Some people put their water, their meringue powder, and then with the whisk attachment, will whisk it until they have like um, soft peaks with their meringue powder, and then they'll add the powdered sugar. I Any of those ways works great for some people, and if there's something that works for you, I say stick with it. Like I tried so many different recipes and I always come back to mine because that's what really works for me. Okay, so I am very excited because I know that whenever I get asked about this, I'll send you guys to look at this video. Okay, so this is 50 grams of uh, meringue powder. And then this is just three quarters of a cup of um, warm water. So you wanna use warm water because it will help um, your meringue powder dissolve a little bit faster. You do not want to use like super hot water because that's going to cook your egg whites. So warm water works great. And then just you're just going to mix it. I should have grabbed a bigger um, whisk. You're just going to mix it like that in there. You want like a foamy consistency and you also want your meringue powder mixed in there okay so all meringue powders have i mean i'm different i love the creative cookies because it's not good it tastes very good and um it's worked great for me if you have something that works for you you can stick to it if you've tried this and it doesn't work for you that's fine too so that is the texture you want Okay, most meringue powders have cream of tartar. So cream of tartar is an acid that stabilizes your egg whites. And I'm gonna pull out of my drawer a teaspoon. Okay, so what meringue powders will help is they will help incorporate um, everything. They will give your egg whites some stability. And that is very important when you're trying to work with royal icing because it's made out of egg whites and you, you're gonna be able to manage the icing better and work better with it. Like it will not go flat so fast. And this is just a brand from uh, Target. You can use any brand. I have not experienced any different results depending. This is one teaspoon of cream of tartar. I'm gonna pour it like in there, okay? So you can add this to your meringue powder as well, okay? And then I'm gonna move my phone so you guys can see my mixer better and see what happens in there. So I get a lot of questions I use my Archon mount to do videos. Okay, yeah, I think that's a great view of um, of this. Okay, so let's move to the next step. So the next thing you're gonna do is with your paddle attachment, which is this one right here. This is a six quart KitchenAid. Okay, I forgot to mention something very important and this has helped me a lot. If you use your stem mixer, I have a different mixer for my flour, for my dough, and another one for my icing. This is what I had first, and then one Christmas, after I sold a lot of cookies, I purchased the eight quart commercial KitchenAid. So I've assigned that exclusively for dough, and this one for um, icing. If you use the same mixer, which most of us have, you know, do, I would highly suggest that you grab vinegar and wipe everything to make sure there's no oil residue from your dough or other things you might have um, mixed in here. Oil in your meringue powder can ruin it by uh, not, not drying, or also sometimes it makes it separate a little bit faster, okay? So you wanna make sure you have no oil residue. So your um, 
your paddle, your spoon, whatever it is that you're gonna use, I highly recommend that if you use that too for oil, anything that has fat oils in it, you would wipe it with vinegar, okay? So I always take so long to make my icing when I'm doing a live video. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is just turn your mixer on and stir. Actually, I'm gonna pour a few um, cups in here. Okay, then the other question I get tons of times too is do I sift my sugar before using it? So it really depends, like this sugar, I've had it for a long time on my, um, on my pantry and I've piled sugar bag over sugar bag and that has caused my uh, sugar to uh, compress a little bit. And when I opened it, I could immediately see I had like little crumbs in it. So I just sifted at my sugar. If it's out of the, like if I just came from the grocery store, um, and it's fresh, which most of the sugar out there right now <laughs> does not last long on the shelf. So you can probably get away with not sifting it. But if you can, I would highly recommend that you do. I feel like it makes my icing better, but sometimes I don't do it, honestly. Okay, then I'm just gonna stir it. Sorry for the loud noise. Okay. I'm gonna try to get my phone a little bit closer on my iPhone now. Okay, so hopefully you can see really well what that looks like. Okay, now it's starting to incorporate and it's gonna come like, it's, it's gonna be like uh, lumpy and just weird looking. I'm gonna grab this and... So humidity and the place that you live play a big role on, um, I'm gonna pour a little bit more water because I feel like it's struggling a little bit. So depending on the weather, basically, it's gonna be if you, um, how much water you need. But it, as a general rule, three quarters of, of a cup is great. I, a lot of people are joining. If you missed it, don't worry. I'm gonna save it to my IGTV once I'm done and you can watch it. Okay, so do you see that? That's normal, like it's lumpy, it's fine. I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna just clean the edges. So for some reason, um, you never, making royal icing is not like never consistency. There's a lot of things that affect it, like the weather, um, your ingredients and like all these things. So don't give up if sometimes it works and others don't. Okay. So I'm gonna add vanilla to my icing. And this vanilla also has lemon. I use some lemon essential oil from Young Living. Uh, it's edible, it's from the Vitaly line. I know tons of you use Young Living products and this comes on your starter kit. So you probably, a lot of you like don't use your oil, purchase them and those just use them guys, use them. Okay, so once it's like that, I am pouring. This is three teaspoons of corn syrup. Corn syrup makes your icing shinier and softer to the bite. You can also add one teaspoon of uh, glycerin. Glycerin is better to do like a, to have a softer icing, but it does have a bitter flavor, so you want to go easy on it. That's why you can't add too much of it. So I'm just gonna pour it in there. You can also add a pinch of salt. That helps as well with flavor. Like some of the flavors just come out. Okay, now my icing is glossy. Do you see it? And this is when I... I do like a number six or eight on my mixer.
Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for like three minutes. And there's my niece, Mariana. I give it to Cookie Con. She's going to both of Cookie Cons with me. I hope you can hear me behind. But I'm gonna post this on my IGTV. And um, can you hear me, guys? Somebody said they lost volume. But it might be that my kitchen aid is making too much noise. Okay, I'm gonna post this on my IGTV. Can you guys hear me or no? Okay. And then, um, once I'm done, I'm, I only do this for three minutes because, um, if I do it longer, since I use my hand mixer to mix a lot of the other colors on my icing, then I can over mix it. So three minutes works great for me. And it's already starting to, I'm sorry. It's already starting to have the right consistency. Okay, so let me see if I can see any questions in here well. So two pounds of sugar. I will post the recipe on the description of the IGTV, okay? Uh, yeah, the water, like, warm water works great because I've mentioned before that it helps um, the meringue powder dissolve a little bit better. 50 grams of meringue powder. Yeah, I'll post the recipe in here. Um, So, I mean, there, somebody said that um, Creative Cookies does not add cream of tartar on her recipe. So you can use any recipe with any meringue powder. So you can try the one that comes in the container and then try to tweak it and do what works for you. Like I said, weather plays a big role, your altitude and like your environment plays a big role on the results of your meringue powder. So I would say try different things. What works for one person might not work for somebody else. So, okay, this is done. And that's what it looks like right there. So that's what it should look like. Now I do, the vanilla that I add is brown and my icing is not completely white. I'm not like, it does not affect me at all. That I'm, I'm completely fine with it. Um, you can add white food color to your meringue powder if you feel like um, you really want it to be super white. The other thing you can add is like one, grab a toothpick and grab a little bit of blue um, food color and put it in there and it will balance that yellow and you'll have like bright white icing. I'm not worried about it, so I'm not doing it. Okay, so this is what I use. I add a little bit of water to this to have my outline consistency, just a little bit. Um, and then if you want to do flowers, um, like with different tips or leaves, you can add more sugar to this. But this is a good medium. Uh, most of the time I just add water for this um, for my uh, outline and then add more water for my um, flood consistency. So the process that I do is I'll grab like a scoop like that of my icing for each color and then I'll color this and add a little bit of water, put it in my, in my uh, tapeless bag for, bag for outlining and then I'll add more water to it and um, use the rest left for my flat consistency and you'll have the exact same color. And most of the time I use one bowl to mix all my icing.